I am terrified of how close I am right now. but we're in Prim, Nevada, so we're not quite to Vegas yet, and Dave had the idea of staying here overnight. It is a pretty like ghost towny kind of casino place. He wanted to go to Denny's this morning, and it, we can't figure out how to get to it. It's inside a Buffalo something or other casino, and everything's blocked off. There's no one around for valet, yet there's all the parking lot is roped off for valet. So you can't get your car in, you can't park your own car, and there's no one to take your car. <laughs> so we're struggling a bit this morning, just trying to get breakfast so we can get on the road and get to the park. We're taking the long route from LA through Vegas, through Zion National Park to Antelope Canyon. And I think we're seeing a couple other things like Big Bend. Big Bend. We're on our way to Vegas right now to rent a Corvette so we can drive around the outskirts of Vegas in a cool car. And she can experience it herself because I did it like two months He's ago. He's obsessed with Corvettes. I don't know what's going on. I'm not obsessed with Corvettes. I'm like, fast cars. He likes fast cars, but I don't know. I'm like, I like fast cars, but I feel like it's a little bit like midlife crisis -y, like with the red Corvette situation. So hopefully it's not red, but. I hope we get a red Corvette. You guys. I'm gonna try to get a red Corvette. I don't know. Or a red Ferrari. Could be fun, so. So Dave's excited that there's multiple Corvettes left. Well, we, okay. I wonder why they're left. It's not, there's not, there's <laughs> one right in front of us. Oh, look, midlife crisis. That's not, wow. <laughs> I hope nobody owns a Corvette that's watching this. Anyways, the last time I was here in Vegas, I walked into the place and I was just like, we rented one like right away. So we have no reservation this time. We're just gonna walk in and see what happens. Hopefully we get a cool car and we get to drive around the mountains outside of Vegas. So here goes nothing. Hopefully we get our red Corvettes for Dave. Or better yet, a Ferrari. Ferrari actually would be nice. So, yep, bright red Corvettes. <laughs> like literally that's all the three ones in the very front. My dream car is a Porsche Macan or a Porsche Cayenne or even a Panamera, but um, just fast, comfortable, looks. It's actually pretty roomy for a, a trunk. That's because it's the target top. Oh, you think you're such a car expert over here? That's because it's a target top. How do you take the target top off, Mr. Car Expert? How do you take it off? Go ahead, take it. We're not going to do it right now, we'll do it later. Oh, we'll do it later. I just want to get out of here. No, seriously, we have to know how to take it off so that I we don't have to take it off. The inside of the bit. And we got our top that we can remove right there. It's pretty big, it's become a big sunroof. Look at that trunk space, it's pretty decent. Alright, you're like a car reviewer now all of a sudden. Let's do this. Let's go do stupid stuff. It'll get legit when I start driving. Giving me the 411 on car rental. Before so. Lauren gets to drive this, I need to inform her that this is a race car. Technically, it is faster than most Ferraris, most Porsches. Like it's just, it's just a fast car. Give me and, the 411. And you have to drive it with, you know, with respect. Someone's about to drive. Am I ready for this? I don't think I am. So I'm letting Lauren know that she this? can't, well, no, not yet. I'm gonna... not ready. Come on, let's right. go. go. National park. It's not even a national park, it's a state park. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Let's take a picture. Oh my God, here we go. Dave has to take a picture at every sign. Like, it's, it's like a ritual. Let's like know that you were there. I'm gonna pee on it too, oh mark my territory. Oh my god. To have beautiful panoramic views. So Dave's gonna show me how to take it off, I don't know. So 
So what do we do? Now we have to just lift this. Oh. Grab it by the hand. Carry it over. No, no, don't put it down. Where are you putting it? Into the, tr into the trunk. Oh, okay. Watch this. Stick it on top there. Yeah. Do you need help? You want me to hold one side? Oh, it fits kind of like perfectly in there? Yeah. Oh. Voila. All right. Now we got a target tank. So, like convertible without all the extra noise and wind. So I don't know if any of you ladies have experienced this with your men, but Dave drives incredibly fast and crazy and jerky and slams on the brakes, slams on the gas. And then when I go to drive, he's like literally gripping the top like I'm, he's gonna die. And I'm like not even going like 70 miles per hour. And he's just like, slow down, slow down, slow down. Like what in the... Does everyone else experience this with their guy? Like, what the fuck? I wasn't even going that fast, and I wasn't driving crazy, and I have like gradual changes. Whatever, Dave. I think it's my turn to drive, so you can record it. Oh, now it's time to drive. Huh? Yep. Wait, hey, wait for me. What? Wait for me. Wait for you. Yeah, don't drive off without me. Uh -huh. Yo, yo. Hey. Wow. It's 100 degrees outside, and she just leaves me. Check out how big the rocks are. It's much easier to walk when you don't have to hold the camera. Or you could just look where you're walking. When you're holding a camera, it's fun. You're out of wind breath already? Yeah, go this way. Ah! Oh, it's Wow. Down there, and she's like... Hiking is hard, but fun. Okay. You feel like blocking. Okay. I'm sorry, am I blocking your mist? You're blocking light? my light, my sunlight. Even though when I stand it, I'm squinting and I can't even see. So she wants to go all the way up there. Coming down to get the drone. Check out this bad boy. Sitting on the edge of the rock. Let me see if I can get closer to him. Hold on, it's a lizard. It's a big ass lizard. I'm trying to get closer. There you go. Oh. I'm trying to capture Dave's excitement. No, but it just, it's just, it's so hard to really put on camera how beautiful this is and like how huge these mountains are. And I mean, like, it's just, every time we drive through it, it's like, wow, wow. My stomach is literally eating itself, and I've had Subway twice yesterday. 10 30 a.m. Dave's like, You want to have Subway again for yeah. breakfast? I'm like, Subway. There's a sub place. Yeah, Dave is not like the healthiest eater in the oh, world. Okay, why, why are you throwing me under the bus? <laughs> if you look the so way I look at you, you're fine. He's like really bad. But right, yeah. Let's go find food. Let's go find real food, like a, like a cafe or a diner. Get some Denny's. eggs. Denny's. Ooh, Denny's. There it is, Denny's. 
This is actually a go-to for us whenever we do road trips because they have like legit healthy meals. They actually have egg whites, avocado, um, what else would I eat? I'll eat like an English muffin if I need to get some carbs in, some fruit. Why don't you just show them in a minute? I'll show you guys. Rude. Rude person in the morning because he didn't get his Subway for breakfast, out of all things. <laughs> so current situation, um, Dave likes to take pictures every two seconds. He loves national parks, so he gets really excited. And meanwhile, I want to make sure we don't miss Antelope Canyon because we've never been there before. And it's also in a, in a canyon. There's only a little tiny stream of light can come in. So if you're going to get a photo, you need a photo with some light. So hopefully we get there in time with light still coming in. The current issue is Antelope Canyon apparently is only available via tour. So we have to call and find out if they can take us today. We didn't really do our research. I thought we did. We never do research. I like I like to just <laughs> sweet wing things. Hey, I got a quick question for you. Do you get do you guys have any uh, tours available for the rest of the day today? To got today you sold out for two people. Okay. Uh, do you, do you think everybody sold out around here, or is there another, maybe another company? Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks. Oh my god. We All just... right, hold on. There might be another There's two other companies. We can't just jump on the bus? Apparently not. Uh, we came all the way out to Antelope Canyon. So what happens when you don't do research? I researched. I knew that... You're like... Even had like a little place all the cars could park. I just didn't know that car other cars weren't allowed there. I don't know exactly. Um, and this is Lower Antelope Canyon, right? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'm right outside of Page right now, so that's that's right by you guys, right? Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. So, uh, do you want to put my name down or just show up? David Kagan. David. Yes, for two. Yes. Awesome. Uh, either one. Yeah, I'm like ten minutes out, so we're just rushing there right now. The reservation. Didn't even know we had to do this type of tour. And we called three places, two of them were booked, and the last one's like, yeah, sure, come on in. So we got lucky. And how tall is this canyon? This canyon's about almost about 90 meters. 90, 90 meters. Feet. 150 feet, and it floods all the way to the top at least once a year and over. So, and we're going to go down there now. Those... By the way, we're not supposed to film in here, but we're rebels. Yeah, don't don't try to climb stuff. Wow, that's just crazy. We're only two percent through of the canyon. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, I could just hang out in here all day. Until the flash flood comes. Until the flash flood. It's just water, erosion. Well, how did it make it so like... Just the way it ate away at the rock. It's so crazy. I've never... How come there's no other place like this on Earth? Okay. I don't get it. There's nowhere else that's ever eroded or had No, there is, there is. It's just not accessible for to us like this. So some areas we would have to clean it up. Yeah. So you guys... <laughs> All right. That's what we just went through. Day three, we're on the road. We're in St. George, Utah. It is actually really beautiful here. I don't know if you can see the freaking red rock is so gorgeous all around the city. We are just a little bit outside of Zion National Park, which we're gonna be going through. I think we're gonna do a drive-through, like a drive-by, right? Yeah, comfortable, comfortable drive-by. Drive <laughs> We've been to Zion. I've already been twice, and Lauren's been at least once. Yeah, so we've walked. We actually did Angels Landing last summer and uh, the Narrows, yeah. which are both amazing, amazing hikes if you've never done them. And I did a YouTube video about it, so you can check that out if you want to see. So I just woke Lauren up, but babe, we're 
we're going swimming. Yay. We're gonna go. So we're gonna go swim down there somewhere. She's not happy. Are you still on your sleep train? To be drunk and in love in New York City. And not into morning coffee. Burning through the hours talking. Damn. I like me better when I'm with you. I like me better when I'm with you. I knew from the first time. I stayed for a long time. Cause I like me better when. I like me better when I'm with you. Like how much I love road trips because you get a chance to like escape a little bit like we're driving to Zion National Park but on the way you get to see all these cute little small towns and little like jumping goats and <laughs> little <laughs> little cows running around I don't know you get to see that in everyday life in the city so it's relaxing it's like it's nice we just saw like a whole caravan of uh, motorcycles drive by, you don't really see that often. Um, what else like reminds you of like country? Like country roads, every other car is a tr pickup truck. Like it's just, it's kind of nice. We made it to Zion National Park and we're gonna be driving through, so. So pretty. Do I have a pass? No. Do you have a pass or a receipt? No, I need one. Okay, follow the bus. You'll Call get one from number two. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You see oh. them on the east side. Maybe. Oh, okay. They're just climbing on the mountain? Yeah. That's so cute. Once you go up the east side, you'll see them. you got to be really careful of them because they're in the road sometimes. Okay. okay. Thank right. you. That receipt's your pass and it's good for seven days. Show it whenever you enter the park. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Goats. We're going to miss the goats. <laughs> So cool, they're a little family. They're so cute. Little babies. They're gonna climb up the mountain. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Little baby goats. Ah, and check out these those cactus flowers. So we're just driving through and we stopped Stop to take a picture. It's like so hard to capture it. Like, look how crazy is it? It's just like in the valley of all the. Oh. It looks like a postcard, honestly. Crazy. We're waiting for the light right now so we can take a good photo. So right now we have to drive through the tunnel and they stop everybody in a line and we can't go until we get an escort. So we're just waiting in line in the park. And this is just the view right here. Now we're headed to Horseshoe Bend. about to approach it. We should go up there though. This is legit. Molly. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Can you not? Can, Dave, don't. Yeah, this is close enough for me. This is one of the scariest selfies I'm ever in. backing up against the edge. So it's not exactly a good idea. Crazy. Oh my god, it's so big. It's like crazy. Oh, it's it's like massive. It's really breathtaking. Well, Lauren is gonna go out there. Is this our romantic sunset? Yeah, it's really long. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs>